Uh, Adonis Stevenson is coming off a fantastic win against Chad Dawson. Of course, it took Andre Ward 10 rounds, I believe, 8 or 10 rounds. I don't remember which one it exactly was, but it took him longer than Adonis Stevenson to knock out Chad Dawson, though that was an ass beating. And I really do feel bad for Chad Dawson. I like Chad Dawson as a yeah. fighter. I think he has a lot of great, great fundamentals mm -hmm. as a boxer mm -hmm. who, who, who walks around in the weight that he does at light heavyweight. Mm -hmm. However, Adonis Stevenson, he turned pro at 29 years old. That's impressive. Very impressive. And now it seems like he's just coming into the spotlight after that great knockout of Chad Dawson. He's taking on Tavares Cloud, who I really thought when I saw him years ago that he was going to be something special. Mm -hmm. He lost to Bernard Hopkins. Let me ask you this. I don't even think we recapped that one, that one together. Is it a shame and is it embarrassing that he lost to Bernard Hopkins? Absolutely not. At 48 years old? No. no. Bernard Hopkins is Bernard Hopkins. He is a special kind of guy. We've seen him do this time and time again. At you know, the the older he gets in in age, he he just the seems wiser to, he gets. The as a wiser, fighter. like he just really knows it's no wasted movement. You know, he knows exactly what to do to break down whatever style. And I think you know, just the same conversation we had about Floyd. Yes, is you don't look at boxers as this guy's a threat because of because he's Canelo or this guy's a threat because he's uh, Cloud. You look at him as a style. You learn to look at okay, he's a pressure fighter. He's a boxer puncher. He's a good boxer. He's left-handed. And you just know how to pick that style apart. You don't feed into the hype of fighters. And that's what, you know, we don't have the benefit of seeing as, you know, just being casual boxing fans. You know, I box here and there. But these guys are like legends, you mm -hmm. know. They know what to look for. And Tavares Cloud is not young. He's 32 years old. He's not young. He's young in the sport is what I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. Understood. Young in the sport, especially compared to Bernard Hopkins. I understand. Yeah. So this is going to be at the Bell Center in, mm -hmm. Montre in Montreal, as a lot Montreal. of the Mon Montrealians, if that's even the way you put it. I would it. love to go to the Bell Center and watch a fight. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. We should definitely do it's that. Like okay. No fingerprints. So what we should do, as a matter of fact, if the Butte Pascal fight is on, Let's go see it. We're in there. Oh, now we're doing fingerprints. Yeah, okay, so uh, Adonis Stevenson, 21 and 1, 18 knockouts, 36 years old. How, how tall do you think he looks when he's in the ring? He looks massive. He does. Yeah. He's only 5'11", as a crazy. matter of fact. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So the obvious choice, and we were talking to Ari the Rugged Man last week. You guys have a nice <laughs> little rivalry there. <laughs> My best friend. <laughs> you guys have a nice little rivalry there. Love having Ari on. When we were talking about Matisse and Garcia, mm -hmm. R.A. and I were like, we're going to go with the trend, mm -hmm. the obvious pick, and we're going to take Matisse to uh, knock out Danny Garcia. Mm -hmm. uh, as Lee Corso would say, uh, not so fast, sweetheart. That mm -hmm. obviously was not, not the case. And what did I say? And you said that Garcia would win in decision, which he did. And so, uh, golf clap to you. <laughs> so now, uh, with this fight, Tavares Cloud is coming off, a, I mean, not necessarily a bad loss, but it's a loss for a champion, and a former champion. And now Adonis Stevenson is on this a tremendous upslope after mm -hmm. beating Chad Dawson. Mm -hmm. So what say you? I say uh, Donna Stevenson, um, probably by knockout. Really? Yeah, Adonna Stevenson edges him out um, in power. What about boxing ability? I think that he edges him out in boxing ability. Really? And here's what I and here's and here's why I say that. Yeah. Um, Adonna Stevenson has a good jab. He has he has a, he has a good jab. He can keep Cloud at bay with that jab, and you know what Cloud is coming to do. He's coming forward. Yeah. Adonis Stevenson doesn't necessarily have to meet him in the middle of the ring, but because he's a warrior, he has that power. He knows he has that power advantage. He's probably going to meet him in the middle of the ring. And I think that, you know, the first three rounds will be interesting because Cloud has clearly stated, I'm not going to be in front of him to be a, uh, a stationary target like Chad Dawson was. But his natural mindset is of a warrior and, and it's to fight, it's to come forward, it's to stand in front of you, it's to pound your body, it's not to circle around, it's not to use the jab, it's not to be cute. Cloud is coming to hurt you. And so I think the first three, three or four rounds will be very interesting for the fans because, you know, you'll get those exchanges. But Adonis Stevenson has, he has power, man. Yeah, he does. He has power. He gets really good leverage on he that right hand. He has those Dwight Howard shoulders, too. And when he throws that right hand, you can you can almost see it. Like, I freeze-framed a lot of his, his, his fights, like I was watching his fights. And when he throws that right hand, he really extends it. And that's when the, the power comes when you extend off of that back leg. 
And man, like I see how he's knocking these guys out. Because I was watching his highlights, I'm like, he can't really be this good. And then I see where the power comes from. He had just really good technique. And that comes from Manuel Stewart's teaching. I was about and, to say, he, yeah. he came from Cronk Gym, he which from was Kronk owned Gym. by Manny Stewart. Exactly. R.I.P. to, Mon so, uh, to yeah. Manny Stewart. I got I to gotta say that I'm going with Adonis Stevenson on this one, probably by knockout. What round? Hmm. If I had to call it. Yeah, why not? Let's six or seven. Six, six or seven? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I uh, hate to agree with you at times. However, I will agree with you on this one. I was going to say uh, four, as a matter of fact.